Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video, we're going to be talking about the Kinevo 501BN HDMI switch. And what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this and review it and hook it up so you guys can see exactly what's going on. And I'll be showing you how to hook it up to your PS4, PS3, your surround sound, your game console, Xbox One, etc. Again, for multiple HDMI cables. And I'll show you exactly why I love this product because I do have a Roku and my Roku into my television. Well, anyway, it's a sloppy mess. This makes it so much easier and simple. Great product. So again, this is the 501BN and this supports 3D, HDMI, HDCP, full HD, 1080p, guys. So let's take a look at the box real quick without further ado. And we will go ahead and get on into the action. We have a one year warranty with Kinevo. That is awesome. Warranties are amazing. And we also have a specifications. You guys can pause this and read all about that. It does support 3D, etc. Product size, audio formats, recommended resolutions, supported resolutions, I should say. And flipping over here, contains HDMI switch, wireless remote, which is awesome. AC adapter, 100 volts through 240 volts. This is the US model. And we have a user manual as well. Coming over this side, 501BN HDMI switch, CEC supported, 12-bit remote control, and we've already seen the back. The bottom is plain, and let's go ahead and open it on up, guys. We're very, very excited about this. This is the first time I've actually looked at it firsthand myself, and so let's go ahead and open it on up. And right here, right off the bat, guys, we have our little flip here and our flip here, and right here is the Kinevo 501BN, guys. So we have a nice glossy little thing here. Let's go ahead and take that off real quick there. There we go. Beautiful. Check that out. Look at the reflection. You can even see my camera up above. Kinevo 51BN HDMI full 1080. Look at that guy's nice glossy black. Very sexy. A good, good looking product guys. Let's grab a regular dinner knife and let me show you kind of the a steak knife and I'll show you the size of it. Very, very small, compact, but packs a punch. Look at that. So let's take a look at the front here. And right here we have our little power button, our switch button here with our output, input one, two, three, input four, input five here. And those are LED lights. We'll show you that later on in the video. We have our output HDMI here, output, and that's gonna be on the right hand side. Around back we have input one, input two, input three, input four, and on this side, input five. So again, the Kinevo 501BN has five supporting HDMI inserts. One through four here, input five on that side with the output on this side connecting up to your monitor for your computer or your television. And this side again also has your plug that connects DC five volt plug there to power it on. And let's take a look at the bottom here. And this device complies with, you know, just your label there. And AC is 110 volt through 240 volt, 50 hertz through 60 hertz, DC5, one amp. And so very nice, guys. You can pause that if you want to take a little bit more of a look at that. But we've looked at that with a couple nice little pods right here, 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 and here. So when you do place it on your beautiful IKEA or Thomasville Entertainment Center, it's not gonna scratch it. Those are very nice. Again, nice little glossy black on that side. A nice flat silver gray there. Very nice, very, very good looking product, guys. All right, we'll set that aside for right now. And let's go ahead and open up this portion of the box right here. And let's get this guy out of the way, this packaging item here and here. Nothing there, okay. We'll get that out of the way for right now. We'll get to the remote control and then we'll get to the power plug. So here's our remote control here. Kinevo logo here. Nice little small, compact, very nice. And we have, we just remove that for our battery so it can connect, a little piece of plastic. And if you do need to release it, I believe you push in and out for that. There we go. And we have our little battery there. Let's go ahead and take that little guy on out of there. And so that is a good looking remote control, guys. Very, very nice. We'll take a look at that all the way around. Little sensor there. Battery again on the back. Very nice. Shows you directions how to put in a new battery. Positive on top, slips right in. 
We'll get that out of the way. And now is our power plug. So this again is 5 DC. And that again would plug in on the sides. This is your typical US model here. And so again, I will have links for in the description box for this exact product. But Kinevo also does make a 301BN as well with only three ports if you don't need this many ports. Again, this is a five port. So this would connect right through here. And I believe they also make a six as well. Six or seven, don't quote me on that, but uh, I'll link that in the description box if you do need more than five or less than five. I'll link those in the description box. Alrighty, so that's our plug right there. Very nice looking product. And we also have our user manual, tells you all about it, etc. All our ports here, our LED lights here, introduction, our remote control, HDMI, gaming consoles, etc. DVD player, uh, Apple TV, and all that fun stuff there. I'll let you guys read that on your own when you do buy the product again, when your warranty. Very nice, and that looks like it. Just a little piece of cardboard packaging material. And that's it for the unboxing, guys. Now comes the fun part. Let's go and hook it up to my system, and we're looking very good. All right, guys, so let me show you exactly why this product is so amazing. Now, we have my PS3 right here and my Roku here with my HDMI cable running down from my television on the wall. Okay, so if I want to watch a Blu-ray on my PS3, we're good. We just go to the HDMI 1 on the television, we watch the movie. But let's say I want to bust over to my Roku, right? I have to literally unplug the HDMI cable from my television, and then I have to plug it into my Roku in order to access my Roku. But let's say after I'm done watching Netflix, I want to switch back to my PS3 to play some games, then I gotta unplug it from my Roku back into my PS3, and that's just a sloppy mess. And again, most televisions only have two or three HDMI ports. So let's go ahead and take a look here and let's go ahead and set this guy on up. All right guys, so the first thing we see is a nice blue light that's on right here after we plug it in. So plug it in. And then what we're gonna do is the cable, the HDMI cable that goes directly to the TV. Guys, you wanna put that on the output. Again, that's gonna be, if you're looking at the box, flip it to the right hand side Output's gonna be right here. Plug the HDMI cable that goes directly from the television into your output here. Okay guys, now after you have your output cable here directly connected to your television, take every single HDMI cable and go ahead and connect it to the back of your Kinevo. Again, so you will need multiple HDMI cables, but it definitely makes it a lot nicer, especially if your television only has one or two connection ports. So let's go ahead and connect all. This is my Xbox 360. We're gonna connect the PS3. We're gonna connect the Roku. And let's see here, if I have an extra HDMI cable, I'm gonna connect my surround sound over here with my subwoofer. And let's go ahead and connect all those to the back in input one, two, three, and four, and five if necessary. And then I'll be right back with you. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is just make sure that your television is on. I have my main cable hooked up to my output on HDMI 1. So now that I'm on HDMI 1 on my television, instead of going to, again, I only have two HDMI hookups on this TV. So now I have three inputs right here and four or five if needs be. I'm still looking for an extra cable to hook up my surround sound and even another product as well. So check this out guys if you get a PS4, Xbox One, etc. And so we're looking very very good here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test out the remote control. So again I have my Xbox 360 here so let's go ahead and go to the remote control and go to let's try number two. So we're going to just aim it right at it and we're going to go to number two and it's going to take a few seconds. Okay there's PS2. All right, so let's go to number three. We're gonna hit three. And we go to, again, just a few seconds. And we're gonna go to Roku right there. Bam, that is awesome, guys. So again, I only have three in there right now. Let's go back to one. Xbox 360, boom. Let's go to PS3, which is two. Aim it right at it. And we go to PS2, just a couple second delay guys, very, very nice. Again, 
just with your main port hooked up to your television right there. This is an awesome, awesome, amazing product, guys. And again, just, you know, hide your cords later on. If I really wanted to, I would put it down here, tuck all the cords behind there. But for the simplicity of the video, I wanted to show you exactly how it works. Again, you have your remote control here, and you also have, you can switch between them here. So here I just switched. And to my Roku, I switched again to my Xbox 360. So what it looks like is it looks like when you're on the one that you're connected to, it's blue. And when the other ones are connected but not in use, they are red. Hope this video helps, guys. Again, look in that description box below for this exact product, the Kinevo 501BN. I'll also link the 301BN that only has three ports. And then I'll also link the big dog that has, I believe, six or seven ports like I mentioned. Again, guys, look in that description box below for the great product. Hope this video helps you guys make your decision. And again, you won't go wrong with this product. Thanks again, guys. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye.